So I was trying to do a quiet time this morning. I'm in Exodus, reading about Moses and this whole burning bush thing. Meanwhile, late last night, I'm going through my news feed and uh, read about this guy who was killed, George Floyd. Uh, he was murdered uh, by a couple of police officers and those guys have now been fired sort of thing. And this is such a sensitive topic and I get it because I have friends who serve here in my community that I live in and I'm so thankful for them. I'm thankful for the, the peace that they bring and the way that they serve my community. And uh, I'm just grateful for them. And so uh, at the same time, racism <laughs> is so prevalent and you just see it playing out in these particular situations. I, it was so hard to sleep last night. And then I'm trying to do a quiet time and I can't even focus. And I read this, uh, God remembered that his people were oppressed. There are people of color who are oppressed and as a white male, middle-class person, uh, I, I've got it good and I don't realize these things and I don't fully understand all of it. Um, I don't know that I'll ever be able to articulate it well, but I am aware of it. And, and I think um, we need to wake up as America and realize that racism is a very real thing that is happening. I mean, when, when I bought this house in the neighborhood that I'm in, there was literally a murder that happened right here. There was a murder that happened right there in that house. Now, I had nothing to do with racism, but you start thinking about neighborhoods. And then you start thinking about certain neighborhoods in your community of people who are of different color. And then would you consider buying a house in certain neighborhoods in my own community? because a third of the population in Sturgis is Hispanic. It's been, it was predominantly white when I grew up. It, it just, we don't realize some of these things because maybe we grew up in this bubble. It, it, and this bubble is gonna pop. And at some point we have to realize, at some time, at some point we're gonna have to realize that racism is still just as prevalent today. And unless we actually take a stand, make a point to bring it up, I don't know what else to do. Honestly, I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. That's why I'm shooting this video. Maybe you have a suggestion uh, sort of thing, but I wanna at least potentially use this small little platform that I have and bring awareness that there is still racism. There's still oppression on people of color. And this is not okay. This is not okay at all. Something needs to change. Because man, we get fired up about certain things. Whether you should wear a mask or not wear a mask. Or whether the state should open up. Whether a person of color kneels at the national anthem. And boy, did that blow up. In fact, I'm willing to bet that a few of you, right now, the, the emotions are strong because you know exactly who I'm talking about. But do we get just as fired up about that as we do about a police officer who killed a man? Do we get just as fired up about him kneeling on his throat to the point where he dies? Do we get that fired up? Or do we just get our panties in a wad whenever some political thing happens out there in the old social media world? Enough is enough. We need to realize and we need to stand up and we need to fight for the people who are oppressed. God have mercy on us. <laughs> Would you continue to show us grace? And would you open up our eyes and our minds and may our hearts be open and receptive to you. Jesus, would you show us every human being with the same exact eyes that you have, that they have a soul that you died for, 
And we pray this in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. And may that be our prayer. May that be your prayer. That when you look at another human being, that that is a soul. That is a soul that Jesus died for. And that's the same soul of the person that you're angry at. That's the same soul of the person that you're bitter at. The same soul that hurts you. Jesus died for that person. Are you willing to stand up and fight and pray? Come on, church family. Let's do this.